Welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie, keeper of my home. And before I begin, I gotta get my phone out of my pocket because it's poking into me. Before I begin, I just wanna say welcome. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. I have gotten so many new subscribers in the last week from all over, Norway, Switzerland, the UK, Ireland, Scotland, Australia. If I haven't named your country, I'm sorry, there was so many. Canada, my mom's home country. I just wanna say welcome. I, I am just so grateful. My heart is so full that you enjoy my channel. Uh, it's heartfelt. It's a heartfelt thank you. So welcome, truly. So today's video. I am going to do a DIY. It's been a while since I've done one. I've had a lot of requests. I have a lot of stuff um, that I can be doing, DIY stuff. I just don't have a lot of time to do it. <laughs> Many of you probably don't know. I don't know that I've ever shared it on my channel, but I also have a cottage bakery. So I'm not just doing YouTube. I am running a bakery. So a lot of my time goes into doing that. So. I'm not always here on YouTube, but to be totally honest, this is what I love to do. This is where my heart lies. I enjoy every single bit of it, especially projects like I'm going to do today. So I have an old sleigh, I'm gonna show it to you, that needs a little bit of a makeover. This sleigh was something that I picked up from a friend. She was selling it and it had belonged to her father. Um, it's pretty old. It's pretty old. Um, not sure the age, but I saw this and fell in love. I mean, just look at it. It is gorgeous. It's just, these are brass and the runners, all of it, it's all brass. And I'm just love, 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 love this. The inside of it is so neat. You can see um, the back and it, it lays up, it goes up and it lays back down too. There's a little handle in the back, a little pull thing that, let me show it to you. There's a little thing here. I'm trying to run this camera and do this at the same time, but um, you push this and it can go up or down. Um, I'm not in love with the color of it and I'm not in love with the fabric. Although I have had this for probably three years, I'm thinking. So it's, it's stayed this color. This is upside down. This is removable. Okay. And what, um, you can see that it can be like a seat like this, which a lot of my grandchildren, the little, little ones have been in this and had their pictures taken in it and they love it. Uh, and down here, as they would sit here, their feet would go in this little box, like recessed spot. Um, or if it was a really little one, you could lift the seat out of the way and slide that across and cover that. And you could put some blankets in here and actually lay a little one in here, snuggle and, um, I mean, I suppose it's still usable. You could literally glide this along on the side of the road in the winter, you know, go for your walk or on a trail. So I need to paint it. I have washed it. I vacuumed it all really good, got any cobwebs off because we store it down here in our basement. I do need to give it a little um, once over with, the, uh, with some sandpaper. Couldn't think, lost my words. I want to give it a little once over with sandpaper. I don't want to paint the brass. I don't want to paint the brass. So I'm going to cover that all up. I will do the handle and I am going to do the wood parts, which means I've got to take the uh, seat off. So that is where I'm going to start. I 
to show you. I'm hitting a road bump here. There is a, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's a piece here, a hinge-like type thing. Um, I'm not sure what it is. Um, where the seat, where it connects to the wood and the seat. And so I am going to have to pull all of this fabric off to get to put more fabric on. I think I'm going to have to put it on while this is in place because it's not, this is not going to release. And I don't want to break it. I don't know how it's attached. I can't quite figure it out. Um, this would almost need to be replaced, but I can see it's original. And I want to show you, I, let me get this fabric off. I want to show you exactly how old this sleigh is. all of this off the back part. I didn't take it off the seat part. I did remove the seat, but I didn't take the fabric off the seat. I'm kind of questioning if that fabric was original. I don't know. But this is like an Excelsior type stuff. I mean, this is old. This is the way they used to fill really old furniture before they started using the really modern stuff. I mean, this is this is pretty old. I am going to leave it here. I'm not going to put um, a cushion on it. I'm just going to leave this on here. I love that this is the original backing in here, and I suspect it's the same with the seat. I've got the seat down here. I think... I can go right over the seat with some the new fabric that I have. I'm going to go right over the seat with it. The back, I don't know that I could have. I probably could have and just pulled the, the fabric around a little bit further into the back, but it, I probably would have gone into some of the um, old staples. Look how old that wood is. I don't know if I'm too close or not, but that's really old wood. <laughs> I mean, it looks almost like a piece of a barrel. I mean, it's it's rounded, you know, kind of curved. Maybe that's just over time from, you know, leaning on it. I don't know. But right now I'm going to vacuum up all the bits and dust and everything from taking that off. And I'm going to sand the outside a little. In all of my curiosity about the stuffing that they used on the seat and the seat backing of this sleigh, I thought I would look it up. And it says that Excelsior is known as wood wool. It was originally invented as an alternative stuffing for mattresses, and it dates back to the 1840s. It's basically just wood shavings. And they were produ produced by a machine. They resemble straw and they're occasionally found in chairs, like the, the seats of a chair or um, benches or things like that. I actually have a bench that is an old Victorian one because these are often found in Victorian uh, style furniture, antiques. And um, I, have a, I have a bench that has that in it. So it doesn't surprise me that this is used in the seat or the back of the seat because this is a Victorian style sleigh. So it's just kind of neat and I thought I'd share that with you. The 
the point of sanding this was because whatever is on here was quite shiny, very glossy. And I wanted the new paint to really get a good bite onto this wood. And I knew it wouldn't if it was shiny. So dulling it up gives it a chance to get a good bite. I do want to say this I did not sand. That is metal of some kind. I'm not sure what kind it is, but I think the paint will adhere okay to that. We'll see in time. But for right now, I'm going to start taping it up and covering all the brass and the back seat. cushion one of the cushions this one this is the seat um, I have that to cover and I'm going right over what's on here I don't think it's gonna show through I'm gonna check it to be sure but I'm just gonna go over this instead of taking it off I did take it off the back piece hindsight I could have left it on there but I think that around the bottom where I don't know where the seat had connected to the to the sleigh remember I told you there was like these little things in there that kind of hinged it I think if I would have left that fabric on there and not taken it off and then added more fabric I think it would have gotten too bulky in that area so I took it off anyway but I am going to leave it on the seat and recover with some new fabric and this is what I picked. I think it'll really go well with the black background, the, you know, the where I painted the sleigh black. I like it better because it's a little less flashy. I mean, there is a little glisten to this for sure. Um, it's got gold, but it's not really loud like this. To me, I, I don't know. I'm probably saying it all wrong, but I want it to blend really well without being too bright. This is too bright for me. So I am going to mute it a bit by using this fabric. And I wasn't thinking when I got this fabric, I was not thinking that I also had a seat to, uh, the back of the seat to do. So hopefully I have enough. Um, I think I will. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, let me pull this apart. going to lay this on the fabric and try to figure out exactly what I will need. have 
it all cut out, what I want to do is start in the center on one side. So I'm going to staple my fabric to the back. Then I'm going to pull the opposite side. I think my hands are getting in, in your way, seeing. Let me move you over where you can see a little bit better. Okay, so I just stapled here. So I'm going over to the opposite side and I'm going to pull that tightly without pulling it so tight that it kind of makes it look a little pulled. I don't want it to look pulled or off. Okay, then I'm going to rotate it and center of the other side. And again, center of the opposite end. Okay, then what I'm going to do is pull not all the way to the end. The end is here. I'm going to go halfway between the center and the end, okay? And I'm going to staple there. And I'm going to do the same thing all the way around. All right, now that I've got those all done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the corners. So let me show you how I do the corners. I don't want to fold them like this because if I do them square, can you see where I'm going to have that little tuft there? So what I want to do is kind of place it so that it's pleated a little and fold it in so that it has a more finished look. Can you see that? I want it to have like a more fitted look. A little bit more polished. So that is what I'm going to do with that corner and I'm going to work my way all the way around. Again, I'll show you from this angle. There you go. I really like this fabric. I think it's going to look really good with the black of the sleigh.
And just like that, I have a new sleigh. Isn't this beautiful? I love the black. I especially love it against the brass. And I'm really in love with the fabric. I think it came out so, so, so good. It just, it really gave it such a new look. I didn't feel badly doing this to an antique because somebody had already painted it before. Um, it, it was nice probably for whoever painted it, but the green was just a little too loud for me and I wanted something a little more muted and timeless. And I think that is what I achieved here. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this project, so be sure and leave me a comment below. And I want to say that I have lots of content coming out for the month of December, so be sure you are subscribed and be sure to click your notification bell to all. That way you'll be sure and receive notification every time I post a new video. Until next time, my friends. <music>